day guys welcome back it's new year's day today for me you probably won't see this video for a few days yet because i've got lots of videos waiting in line that i've been doing but uh happy new year happy 2020 i'm going to show you a couple of things that i did recently that was one of the blooms that i did so that's how it's come out dry dried beautifully um they don't there's kind of dry matte I guess that's it there I will have another play with this because I mixed up so much paint I got lots of paint so that's it there that one and number I can't remember what number it was but this was the pink in the series of the big split flip cup pours so that's it there dry beautifully again they don't change from when you see them when I say goodbye to you <laughs> uh, yeah so that's it there the pink one I've still got one more to do uh, and I'll, I'll show you that but I'm having a little break and doing a few different things now for today's pour I saw the lovely Jilly Cube use some different glue on one of her recent swipes hey Jilly Jilly lives, lives only like 20 minutes from me by drive I'll, um, I'll have to get her to come and paint with me one day. Come on, Jilly, come and do a pour with me. So anyway, she was using this. You know how I use the Montmartre acrylics? Well, she found this clear glue, and I've never tried it. Uh, she did it in a swipe. I'm going to have a go at it in a flip cup. I haven't actually done a little practice with it yet, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've mixed it up the same as my regular pouring medium, 60 parts glue. 40 parts water so 60 40 uh, in this little bottle it's just an old bottle that's what it looks like when it's mixed up um, I have got 300 grams of glue and 200 grams of water so that's 60 40 but just in a little bottle so I've popped it in there and as I said I'm using the Montmartre I'm just doing kind of smoky blues and greys so that's the phthalo blue which is this one this one is phthalo blue with like a little touch of purple in it, I think. I can't remember what I put in it. Um, I made a charcoal with the black and a touch of white. I've got two cups of white. Uh, that's it there, just the normal white. And then I made this one this morning. It's kind of just a, oh, there's something in there, a little taupe or cream colour. So basically started with a lot of white. I added a little bit of raw sienna, a little bit of raw umber, and it was a bit yellow. So then I added a little bit of the charcoal and I got this sort of, yeah, torpy color. So it's pretty. Righto, enough talking, let's get started. I'm gonna do three flip and drags because I haven't done them for ages. Got my cup sprayed with a little bit of silicone spray so it releases nice and easily. And let's go with two drops in each except the white. One, two, do the charcoal. I just won't do the white. So I didn't want black in this, I just wanted it more of a sort of a smoky bluey kind of a colour. So we'll see what happens and see what happens with this glue, how it reacts. It's basically the same consistency as when I use the Elmer's glue all with water, it seems to be exactly the same consistency. Uh, the white, I always add an extra 10 grams of white paint when I'm mixing my paints because the white always seems a little bit thicker, a uh, thinner, sorry. So I add more white. I'm just going to give that a stir as well. Um, the black, I always tend to have to add a little splash of water to the blacks. Righto, let's get layering, hey? And I thought, because they're all pretty dark colours, I better have two whites. <clears throat> and as usual, broken up my two dark colours with a lighter one in the middle. I mean, you wouldn't put those two next to each other, would you? You wouldn't even see the cells. So, just break your dark colours up with a little bit of lighter colour. This is that top. I will actually do a video on how to mix 
not marked colours for those that are interested. It just takes me a long time to do it, uh, especially if I don't need the colours. But um, I'll, I will get to it. <clears throat> so I know a lot of you are, are wanting to mix colours. You know how I do my navy and my burgundy and my plum and <clears throat> all that. But some of the colours aren't available in Australia, like the, the magenta. So some of the colours that I make, you might not be able to make unless you go through Amazon and, and bring them into Australia. But those of you who can get all the colours overseas, well, you'll be just fine then. There's a little bit of white left. It's because I added an extra 10 grams of, of white paint, so I have got a little bit left. But I might um, <clears throat> put a little layer of white over the top when I'm finished. Let's see if we need that. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty. I don't think I've ever used these colours before. I know I did something similar, it was like Smoky Mountains, but it didn't have the top in it. I can't remember what it had now, and it was a little while ago. But it's uh, similar. I don't think I put enough paint in my first layer. I seem to have more left in the the cup now for my second layer for some reason so this is the uh, 30 by 40 centimeter canvas uh, 12 by 16 inch it's a really nice <clears throat> little size uh, to do you know to experiment and to do pores for you because I'm not using so so much paint uh, I've got about 700 grams of mixed paint here for this size <clears throat> So I have six cups of paint and I have 120 grams in each. So 60 grams of pouring medium, 60 grams of paint. So that's two ounces of pouring medium, two ounces of paint, uh, six cups. And that's what it gives me. Well, this one's got more. You can have a little bit less, I think. And finish off with this blue. For those of you that used to watch me pouring with uh, global paint, this was, uh, I mean, not this particular one, but there was a paint colour called Scuba Diver. So it was like a, a very, very slightly purpley navy blue. And that's kind of just what I've matched this one to. So, oh, it's sort of a, how can you explain it? It's kind of a, grayish grayish blue I guess I haven't got much white left so I'm just going to use some in the two outer cups so that we get a little bit of similar composition and that is all the colors done righto how pretty do they look let's flip these babies I'm not flipping very well. <laughs> oh, look at the cells. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I've got the different glue in here, haven't I? I forgot. Let's see how they go. So far, so good. Look at that. It was really weird, actually, when I poured this into the cup and then I poured the paint on on top. Like, the paint just sort of sat in, like, blobs. And because this is clear, you could see around it. It was, it was really, really unusual. And then as soon as it mixed up, it was... You know, back to beautiful, smooth, creamy colour. Um, I'll show you. I'll mix one of them one day so you can see. But we'll see how this goes first. This is looking promising, though, these cells. But we shall wait and see. Okay, let's do it. Flip and drag. Oh, look at that torpy colour coming through there. Beautiful. Pour a little bit on my corners. I'm going to tip them off anyway. 
just helps the, the paint slide over the wet canvas. Put some of that top back through there. Is that what you call it? Top? Kind of a creamy colour. Beige. It's got lots of names, hasn't it? All right. Let's uh, start walking this paint. Go up to the corner. So as you can see, I don't want too much of it to fall off the edge just yet. So I'm sort of going that way and that way. Keep as much on as we can and then just at the end, let it slide over. And then that is it. Okay, let's turn it around and I will torch before I uh, do the other half. Just because the, um, oh, I've got paint all up here now. Let me wipe this. How did that happen? Um, yeah, if you torch now and get the cells up, then when you walk the paint back and forth, back and forth, uh, it'll be stretching it out and making your cells bigger. Because I get a lot of messages saying, how do you get big cells? And then someone else will say, don't stir your silicone. And you get big cells. Well, that's <laughs> not really how it works. You get big cells from stretching them. And you want to stir your silicone really, really well. Otherwise, you get big blobs of silicone. All right, let's see how reactive this glue is. I won't get too close. Let's see what happens. The white's giving us kind of a lacing effect which the white tends to do. Try not to get too close. Loving that torpy colour with the blues. for a little bit more in here but I'm just trying to be so careful that I don't overdo it. So there's a few coming up. It takes a little while so you you torch and then you think oh nothing's happening and then you torch again but it is happening you just have to wait for a few seconds. All right that'll do me. It's probably too much torching but we shall see what happens. Righto let's get this paint walking. and right, over the side, over the side, over the side, okay, might be a little bit thinner I guess to what um, the Elmer's glue mix is, it does seem to be moving a little bit faster. I'm just going to get rid of some of this greyish area here. And I want to try and open up this middle section. See how the middle section's doing this? Uh, that's telling me that it's a little bit thin and um, I can't really move that middle section out. So I'm going to try and get the weight of the paint up to the middle and see if I can take some off the side. Maybe that will open it up. No, all it's doing is stretching these out. It's not actually opening the middle up. Let's try the other side. Let's see if we can open a little bit of that up. Again, not really opening it up. It's going to go really slowly. You see how the top section is getting overstretched? Let's just come back. And I think that'll have to do. I don't think I can push the boundaries anymore. Okay, so it does seem to be a little bit thinner maybe than what my um, Elmer's 
glue all is because it's moving really fast and the cells quite big so I should probably <clears throat> maybe just try maybe 70 30 uh, with the with this glue as I said this is my first little experiment with it so um, it's very sort of uh, this is really rocky river type thing isn't it pebbles over the, the little river water flowing over the little pebbles in the river eh? that's what it kind of reminds me of let me fix my corners and it did seem to be quite reactive to the, the torch but in saying that it's more reactive because the mix is a little bit thinner if your mix is thicker it's not so reactive so I will definitely try again because I've bought a few of these bottles of glue just to see I thought there's no point me buying one bottle I'll buy a couple and um, I might even try these colors again actually and I think I'm just going to torch a little bit over here where it's a bit dark just as well I've used two cups of white hey whites kind of vanished so there you go what do you think of that one a little bit busier than what I would normally do but oh look at those cells those they've come up really well see how the size of them at the moment they're a decent size so again that's telling me the mix is a tiny little bit thin so actually I might just change it instead of 70 I might go um, 65 glue 35 water I'm gonna get a few little guys happening in between in this dark section here so yeah I think I'll do that and uh, we'll try this again hey and see what reaction we've got I've still got all those cups there so I'll use the same cups use the same colors don't want to waste anything and um, we'll try again so my white isn't really that prominent might still need to be a little bit thicker but as I said if I change it to 65 35 all the paints will be a little bit thicker and um, yeah we'll, we'll try again at this stage I don't know whether or not the glue is any better than the than the Elmer's only because my mix you know is a little on the thin side so I will fix up my mix and we'll have another go but they are pretty cells especially these little guys the little baby ones the little baby ones they're so cute so yeah a little bit busy chocolate brown would be nice in here as well wouldn't it with that top because that uh, the charcoal is kind of looking a little bit brown so there you go right I'm gonna mix up some paint and um, I'll be right back with you see you soon bye for now